Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian. And today, we are doing another practical making. And I found this idea that's a little kitschy and a little crazy, <laughs> but I think they're gonna come out really cute. And they take the idea of a bearskin rug, make it out of felt, and turn it into a tiny coaster for your desktop. If you guys have any questions, please either stop in or email me or call and we'll do our best to help you out. Bearskin rug coasters. So we are gonna start out with our pattern pieces and I'm gonna have you cut all of those out. Ta-da! And then we're gonna lay them out on our felt. Um, you're gonna need two of the body, two of the ear, and two of the face. And something that I like to do, because I'm not very good at pinning, is just kind of make a dot pattern around it. And then even if that paper comes off, I know exactly where to cut. It'll look something weird, sort of like this. And, ta-da, here we go. So next we're gonna open up our glue. Um, you can use a Q-tip. I'm just gonna use my fingers and you just wanna kinda dab the glue around the outside edges of your coaster. And then we're gonna mash those two together so they can glue. And you just wanna squeeze it just enough so that that glue will get both pieces of felt. It's kinda like a turtle right now, but that's perfectly okay. Next thing, we'll pull out some of our embroidery thread. So find your loose end, the one that pulls easily, and we'll do about two lengths of that Thread your needle and double knot the end of it. Then I want you to find those two face pieces and we're going to match them up together. And going in between them, about where that chin would be, so kind of like the bottom of the, the larger circle part, um, like I said, in between them because that will hide the knot on the thread, go through one layer and then what we're going to do is we're going to go through both layers and we're going to do that all around the bottom of the chin. It's kind of a normal stitch until we get over the nose and up to about where the eyes are going to be. So you're just going to have these, you're going through both layers kind of like a machine stitch would look, so you can actually see the stitches there. And like I said, up to where the nose is and around to where the eye is. And at that point, once you have all those stitches, that's where we're gonna bring in um, the pattern piece labeled head. And as you can see, you've got one narrow end and one wider end. And we are going to take that wider end and it's basically going to fit in between our two face pieces right where we have stopped sewing. So you're going to match up the edges and they're not going to match up exactly so you're going to have to bend some of the felt and you'll notice we didn't tie off when we stopped sewing. We're just going to keep using that same piece of thread through one face layer and the head layer and we're going to th go through, we're going to sew that, we're going to do about five or six stitches. So basically we're going to sew up to the area that would be kind of the top of your bare head. And just make sure that those, those edges stay nice and flat as you are sewing. And you may have to adjust after each stitch and that's totally fine. Again, just making sure that that stays flat along the top. Another reason to use felt is that it is nice and forgiving when you are sewing things like this through both pieces. Okay. And then you're gonna take your ear piece and you're gonna take that flat side of the ear piece, that flat top, and you're gonna line it up 
with the curve on the face pattern and the edge of the headpiece. So three thick, just like a sandwich. And you're gonna keep sewing in that same line, but you're gonna do it with all three of those pieces. Make sure I go deep enough so the stitch doesn't pull out. There we go. And that won't take, you know, more than three or four stitches. Those ear pieces are tiny. But effectively, this is gonna be the, the inside of our bare head, which is why we don't really care about those stitches being visible. But that's why we have laid the ear in there the way that we have. Okay. And after you sew in that ear piece, you're still going to keep going with the head pattern piece and the face pattern piece um, almost all the way around to where you started. Not quite that far because you have to leave enough room to turn it inside out. Um, but we're going to keep going with that. And then we are going to go over to the other side. Um, and it's the same thing, a little bit trickier because you're mashing up a, a piece, kind of making it go in three dimensions when it sort of doesn't want to. So match up those edges again on the other side. And about five or six stitches in, we'll add that ear piece and then we'll, we'll still keep sewing all the way down to the end. So when you get to that end, there'll still be a little flap and that's okay. We're gonna flip it around inside out and you'll start to see kind of the shape of the bear head. And this is where you can pull out your handy stuff and fluff and sort of fill that right in. You can make it as full or as loose as you want, totally up to you. Just make sure you get some all the way out in that nose. I'm going to add a little bit more here. Okay. And once you've got that sort of stuff to your liking, you're going to notice that there is that flap piece. We're going to kind of tuck in the edges, tuck in the flap, and we're going to sew it all shut. So there's kind of a flat spot on that bottom. And as best you can, you're going to sew, <clears throat> well, check to make sure it lays flat. Then, as best you can, we are going to sew that flap down. All around the edge. So I'm going to go in inside to the out because that will again hide our knot um, I'm gonna put my flap over that knot and then tuck it back in and then I'm gonna take my stitch through the flap and through kind of the neck of that headpiece when you're done with that you can use your marker to sort of add on the bare face I'm gonna do a triangle nose here and then just two dots for the eyes a little wider spaced than where all of your pattern pieces meet up. Starting to look like a bear. Then you're going to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to flatten it just a little bit and then I'm going to sort of position it where I want so I know where I'm going to be sewing for my coaster. So once I kind of know where I want that headpiece to be, I'm going to double knot my thread again. And I'm going to pick it up as, as though it were one entity and already sewn. And you're going to go through that kind of neck flap and through the edge of the bottom of the bear's head. And on my example, uh, the one I did before this one to see if it would all work out, I actually had to, to re-sew it twice to get the placement I want. So again, felt is very forgiving, which is super nice when you're doing things like this that kind of awkwardly fit together. So through the flap, through the bottom of the headpiece,
There we go. And then the last little bit that you can do if you want to is kind of put two little, two little claw loops in. So coming from the back side to the front. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a loop and come right back through the same spot, pull it so that it bunches up just a little bit. And then I'm going to take a look on the back side, put my needle through so that I can scoot it over just a little bit. Only on the back side, that stitch didn't come through to the front. And then come around again through the same hole two times and then pull tight to get that little that little claw. And then I can sew my knot in the end, trim down the pieces, and you can do that on the front too for sure, um, but on the back ones if you want as well. And there you go, Bear Rug Coaster. Thank you for following along. I hope that was enjoyable for you and I hope to see you back next month with another practical making um, when we will be doing faux stained glass.